it's Sarah and today I'm going to be wood burning you guys I'm doing another box I created this pattern from this book here this is called creative wood burning by Belock and I ordered this on Amazon I found her on Pinterest I believe I just saw some of her work and was very impressed the book is great I mean it has a lot of good information um, and if I followed along with it, I would probably learn something about <laughs> shading. But I'm sticking with my technique. Oh, I definitely learned about um, just say no to resin. So in some of these boxes, I've talked about there's this line going through here. Of, it's a little bit different color, right? Let me see if I have... I got this one at um, Michael's the other day. So this is resin. Now this top is pretty much perfect. I mean, I couldn't have looked gotten a better box that way but like this side when I burn it I will notice it's like there's a there's a secretion that comes out almost right and that's the resin so I was curious about that and so her book told me about that also that the skew this tool that I use the most is basically her go-to for any straight lines borders line work things like that so for the type of work that I do I was, you know, I was right. <laughs> That's why I like it. Um, and then it just talks about, you know, pretty much everything from the tools you use um, and how to use them, um, the wood and seal, using color. These little koi fish, I'm probably, I'm really tempted to use them, um, to use that design. So I just took a couple of her hand-drawn uh, patterns that were in the book and combined them to make this little, dra um, I'm sorry, hummingbird project. So I'm going to start burning. Um, I have uh, my, like I say, my heat, my smoke absorber that I use for um, stained glass. And I have my Colwood Super Pro 2. She uses a different um, wood burning tool, but I have this on about a four and a half. And I'm just going to attempt to put these lines in here. And then I'm going to add a little bit of color, light color again. Um, but let me just start, I gotta get warmed up. And I'm just gonna start putting lines down here. I gotta get, I'm gonna start with the stems, I guess. I really wanna go to the bird, but oops. And this is what she says in there, get your work surface. So I, I just, my remote control was tangled in my cord. So you don't want any of that stuff to happen. Um, so here I go. Gently as well, just gently. This wood is super soft. And so I do not need to put a lot of pressure on my tool and just cut into the wood. The smoke is kind of getting sucked up into my smoke absorber, so that's good. Oh, crooked. This is a little bit of a more intricate design than I've been doing for sure. I mean, not to say my mandalas are not intricate, but this is a nature um, scene. And so I think that's why I like whimsical better because nature is nature. And if you get it wrong, you get it wrong. But whimsical can be any shape, you know. I can I can wing it and with whimsy and I can... Uh, you're never really wrong. But I just wanted to try a little something more um, realistic. And thank you, B, for providing me with this beautiful pattern. I don't know what kind of trumpet flowers these are. They're like, they have this little trumpet look to them, I think they're called. Let me do this one first. I love these squiggles. They're very... Uh, intricate and um, so I'm just going to be gentle Ugh. see it's hard but I think it's going to look fantastic I have my tool set at about four and a half today because this wood is super soft I want to say it's basswood but I have a feeling it's pine which is fine pine is fine I'm going to just go down to a four why not I just don't want to burn too hot and um, this way I can take my time. The hotter the fire, the faster you have to move because 
um, if I hold it on the piece too long, it'll just burn the heck out of it. So I think if I lower my fire temperature, um, let me think what I'm doing. Oh boy, I think this this line is going to go to the leaf, and then the other one goes behind the leaf. Um, so yeah. I don't know that you guys need to, that these bur wood burning videos are um, helpful because I'm not like, I don't feel like I'm like uh, qualified as much as some would be to, to teach you. All I can tell you is in real time, you know, without speeding up the video, this is what it looks like, you know, and I am taking my time on these curves and I just want to want you to see that if you want to do this it's possible it is not something that you know you can't do because I'm I mean I would say I've been doing this a good 2020 I'm trying to think if I did any wood burning in 2019 um I think I did I think I've been doing this for a couple years now uh, I started out with the um, Walnut Hollow oops, wood burning tool that you can get in the craft store and of course uh, wanted something a little more I, I think I broke it actually that's right yes when I started because you are supposed you have to unscrew the tips from the, it's like a soldering iron and you just unscrew the tips and change them out that way I might use a a writing tool for that. I just don't like that. It's so intricate. Um, and I didn't let my tool cool down first, so I stripped it. I stripped the threads. So instead, and I think I actually did get a new, because um, you can really make dark lines with that tool. It has different tips than this. Um, but I ended up getting this tool. And this is, this is like $100 at least. I forget, it might have even been more than that, um, but it's it's a lot more um, professional, like it has dual heat setting things, like there's a detail and a heavy duty side, so once I do know what I'm doing, I feel like I'll have what I need, <laughs> the tools, tools are important, you know, um, but that being said, I know you, people use the wal walnut hollow tool and they get, a, see like that, I think I just went, this is the resin area and I feel like sometimes it's just a different burn when you burn over that. So, alright, let me go to my hummingbird. He's up here in the knot, uh, just going to take my time. I love hummingbirds. They are um, going to be coming here soon. And uh, I put up my hummingbird feeder. I just love them. I've been feeding the birds uh, this winter too. It's been a, I'm going to go up a little hotter. I want to move faster. Anyway, um, some robins have been coming. They're bob, bob, bobbing along on the lawn. Because um, spring is coming and they're looking for uh, worms. And uh, I'm excited. But it, it's rainy here in South Jersey today. So I figured I have a lot of wood burning projects that I want to do, you guys. I have a couple more of these boxes. And I may be putting some things on my in, in my Etsy store um, because I can't keep them all. And I just love doing them so much that, you know, I'm going to start to have a lot of boxes sitting around. I can't keep them all, I tell myself. So 
looking good. I don't know if I'm in the shot. Um, I want to leave him alone for a minute, but I'm going to do this. And then his little ruby throat. I'm going to give him a ruby throat. All right, let's do the eye. And then she gave him like an eyelid. And I'll do the eyeball with a different, um, I want to keep these feathers intricate, but, oops, see, I did not go on the tracing, but it still looks okay. I think it looks pretty good. But you can't really see my pencil lines under there, so I'll just, I'm going to really try, let's see if I want to go on that side of the line or this side. Wow, this is so intricate. These feathers are really important. Sorry, <laughs> I can't make decisions. Uh, Kind of holding my breath you guys I can't talk <laughs> while I'm working on this little intricate part oh I like it I think it turned out pretty good I think I did it right here I kind of want to make this line a little these two lines I'm gonna leave them but those two lines kind of seem like they want to be I'm gonna look at her drawing and see if it uh, and then here again a lot of pressure <laughs> I just wanted him to look cool and I don't have his eyeball in yet but I I think I did it I'm gonna be happy oops that's just again my the little um, what is that called cord hooks everything on my desk and I don't have much on my desk actually that was just the lid to the holder, the pen holder. Anyway, TMI. So yeah, I guess I'm on resin right now. And I can tell, I can tell, it's not the pen nib, which I turned it down a little, so I'll turn it up again. Maybe I need to burn a little hotter when it's on the resin. And it smells different. I don't want to get sick from smoke inhalation. I mean, you know, it's not good. All right, I think I'm going to go off camera and finish this up. Um, I just wanted to share with you guys that... Uh, woo, Alexa, turn off the craft fan. Okay. Um... I had the fan blowing toward me. Now this will suck over um, because I get hot flashes. But no, I just wanted to share that I have been in the craft room a lot. Um, also, my Al-Anon program is helping me to just be present and um, don't think about what I could be doing or what other people are doing and just really be present with what I'm doing and appreciate what I'm doing in a way that like keeps you from judging and being and being um, envious so it's very good um, and so sharing that too is, is part of um, Oh, there it goes. This is the little tube thing. That's rolling around. Anyway, um, but I want to turn on the camera. So, so I've been very present. In other words, what I'm saying is I'm creating. I'm in here uh, making this stuff, but I'm not turning on the camera all the time. 
because I don't, I just want to be present. I don't want to perform, in other words, right? Um, so this type, of, it's not exactly a tutorial, you know, because I'm not teaching you. All you do is trace a pattern on and burn it. Um, I'm just kind of sitting with you guys. I'm just kind of hanging out in a way. You're hanging out with me. Um, and I want to do that because I do feel like um, the community I've gotten on YouTube has been part of, you guys are part of me and you're part of my journey um, of like-minded creative folks. And I am, I can't abandon that. I've enjoyed it and it's brought me so much uh, pleasure and um, serenity you know so um, I'm trying to turn the camera on from time to time but then I don't always post because I feel like I've just I've sh it's like a repeat of what I do all the time um, again that's my humanness saying um, you know doubting myself probably or anyway you know what I mean. Um, I feel like my channel has evolved to become a place for me to share my vulnerable self a little bit um, and help other people feel good about themselves in a way, in a creative way. So if you feel like sometimes you're isolating and you're not out doing whatever you think you're supposed to be doing or whatever. I've been there. And guess what? I've been here in my craft room doing this. And it's been wonderful. So, anyway. That's my little philosophizing for the day. Um, and guess what? This is going to be so gorge. So I'll be right back when it's all done. I'll be right back almost done I switched to my little tiny ball tip um, just to finish some of these really like intricate lines I didn't finish this here eh, I, I kind of messed it up with the other um, tool so I all right there's little And this has it too. Um, I think I'm going to do the eyeball. I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna blacken it in and I'm gonna leave a little white. Uh, kinda, kinda messed it up. It's very hard to. Alright, nope, it looks good. Um, I have one here. did this one and I think I'm done those were the last little the one thing I'm debating is if I want to bring this around here and I kind of do but I also kind of don't oh I'm going to turn that off for a minute I'm just going to use my um, pencil and I'm going to make a line to kind of frame the box. I just really like the way that looks and I specifically laid this out so that I put everything kind of down in such a way that I could put this right here. Um, 
Am I still? I'm still zoomed in. I'm so sorry. Okay. Sorry about that. So I'm just gonna leave like that, and like that, and I'm gonna leave it there. But I am going to put it along the bottom. I don't know if it'll look weird. Hmm. No, I think it's going to frame it. It's going to be good. I'm going to go with my gut and just put some lines like that. And then, hmm, this side I really put everything really close to the edge. But again, I think I am just going to, I think I'm going to do it. I like that a lot. Um, yeah, so I'm going to switch back to my skew. Now that I know that it's called a skew, I think I knew that, but I just never kind of called it that. And turn on my heat. And it's a number five. And this will just be the final touch. And then I'm going to erase all my um, pencil lines and tracing lines that I can see. And I'm going to go downstairs and actually, I'm going to have to figure out what I want to do on my sides. Because I do like when I put a little something along the side. So we'll see. And then the next video, I'll paint. And that's my, oh man, it really comes to life. So, um, join me if you wish, and we'll see how it twines out. See, that's all I need. Um, This is part of the flower, this. Oh, got a little wonky there. Kind of pushed too hard. Started digging a rut. And then the grain of the wood will just take you its own way instead of going where I want to go. I think that looks so amazing. I'm so happy. Um, yeah, I got to figure out what I'm going to do on the sides. But that's it, you guys. Let me come down. I'm going to grab my white eraser. And I get pencil on my hand as well. And so I do make some carbon lines on the wood just going to erase anything that I can see. I did pretty good with going right on the line. Sometimes I totally miss the line that I drew and it's annoying, but this time I did okay. And I really don't see anything I missed. Sometimes I'll miss a line and then when I go to paint it, obviously I'll, I'll know. But I put, I got all my um, leaves like the little uh, vein lines in my leaves. I forget that a lot. I'm going to grab my other eraser. I also have this one's called a sand eraser. It's a little bit of a rougher, kind of like sandpaper-ish. Um, but yeah, I think I'm excited. I'm very excited. Oh, I got to sign my name. Got this at Hobby Lobby. Ooh, there's a little bit of paint or something on the bottom. And... That looks like pencil. It is pencil. You know what probably happened? I probably, oops, and there was sticky stuff there. I'll give it a sanding. But I got to sign my name. My, my surface is just too messy. I'm just going to grab a piece of paper. Um, let me switch to my, this is considered a writing tool. And I always, I love this one too. It's a little thick, the wire. But I get a good, I like it because, and this is just to kind of get the carbon off the tip. 
I like it because it kind of goes thick thin it, it's kind of like it gives you a little bit of like a calligraphy feel sometimes so I'm gonna just write my name over here nah, I'm gonna write it now this of course I said it might be resin I think I'm gonna write my name right here it's on number five and the grain lines are going this way so it's probably gonna pull my pen in that way kind of fell in there a little I just try to move the pen like I would be moving a pen <laughs> And by holding it at this angle, like I said, it gets some thin, thick. Yeah, but that's resin. I'm going to put 20. one. That's big. All right. Now I can... I'll do all the finishing touches, um, which just erasing. Maybe I'll give it a fine sanding. Then I'll go spray it, and I'll be back to um, paint. I can't wait. I'm going to do it today. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching. <laughs>